So this is the first game that I have ever created. So I'm going to showcase the first game that I have ever created, which is the game that I created right away after I learned how to code and make games. I published it on Google Play. I'm going to show you the statistics. Check the statistics. How much downloads it got, how much money I earned, and most importantly, what I learned during that process so that you can learn as well. So now I'm going to show you here on my desktop the game and the gameplay of the game. And I'm going to show you in the Google Play Developer Console all the data that the game has gotten over the years since I have published it. So this is the first game that I have ever created. And for those of you guys who have been following me for quite a while, you probably recognize this game. This is called Jack the Giant. And it's in my most famous course, the first one that I put out about Unity game development. And as you can see here, we have a nice main menu. We have these options. You can select easy, medium, hard. You can also go over here and play the background music as you can see or here you have the high score but currently we have zero and I can go over here and click on play game and I didn't run this project probably in five years or more as you can see it's all messed up now I don't know why it's not working but yeah I don't care because I created this five years ago as you can see the tree is all messed up is not supposed to be like this but yeah basically the gameplay is you go from one cloud to another cloud and go down by avoiding dark clouds while you pick up the coin so this is the game and I'm probably going to preview the game right here from the footage that I have right now so anyway we have here the movement we need to jump on these white clouds and avoid the dark clouds so we, if we touch the dark clouds then we are going to die and well that's the game so i published this game probably in december 2014 so let's move on to google play dashboard so you can see how much this game got downloads and how much i earned with this game and most importantly what i learned about this game check the statistics Jumping into Google Play Developer Console, you can see over here I have my Jack the Giant, the very first game that I have published, and it is removed for now. And the reason for that is because it is not complying with Google Play Developer Policies, because as I said, I didn't care about those for the reasons that I will talk about later in this video. But if I go over here and if I select Lifetime, you will see how many downloads it got and all the performance it got. So it got around 2K downloads, not that impressive. And if I go over here for new users acquired, you can see on the 4th December, 2014 so more than five years ago i have published this game so five years ago it's a lot of time <laughs> anyways you can see it only has 2k downloads it didn't get too much but i will talk about why and how, what you can learn in regards to that also it got 4.37 rating which is not that bad rating out of 60 i believe i'm not sure if i go over here explore the report you can see 59 total ratings well not that bad and how much money did i earn well you can just imagine because it only has 2k downloads if i earn any money i don't know where i can look at those statistics anyways but uh yeah as you can see all the statistics from my first game are not that impressive and now you're asking yourself well why am i showing you this why am i embarrassing myself because there is a lot to take away the lessons that i learned from creating my first game first when you just learn how to code to make games which is what i did back at that time i wanted to create my first game and you want to do that as well don't expect your first game to blow up and i'm not saying this to this encourage you to not try and create your game but don't think that your first game is going to earn you millions that you're going to leave your job and not work anything else because that is probably not going to happen first your code is not going to be that good because you just learn how to code and make games. You don't know the best practices, how to create or structure your code. Same as I did, I'm going to put my code over here so you can see how messy it was. I used one script to do a lot of things, which is not the proper way to go. So that's number one thing. Another thing is that I didn't have an audience. I didn't have nobody at that time who knew me, except for my friends, who can download the game. I didn't have this YouTube channel that I have now and I didn't have you guys watching me. So basically nobody knew me and how can somebody download your game or my game when they don't know that it actually exists? Except if you are a marketing guru and you have a pocket full of money that you can invest into in marketing to 
get downloads for your game, then you can expect to see some results. But otherwise, doing only organic traffic by creating a game, publishing our Google Play Store, it's not going to work. So these are the main things that you need to have in mind. Does this mean that you should not try to create your first game? Absolutely not. Go ahead and create your game, but continue your learning path. Continue learning even after you went through the basics, you already know how to create a game, continue learning so that you can enhance your skills, get better in coding, understand the coding architecture, how to structure your code, how to put and make the code communicate with each other inside of your game because that's how your game will be optimized and that will be the code will not be messy later on when you go back to update your game if you already know what i'm talking about so that's the number one thing another another thing is if you plan to get a lot of downloads you need to think early about that don't try to get downloads after you publish the game try to get downloads while you're creating the game. And now you're thinking, I'm crazy. How can I get downloads for the game that I still didn't publish? Well, create an audience, start building an audience, start informing people, post online about your game, go on Facebook groups, go on Reddit, go on, create a YouTube channel. This is what I tell you guys all the time. Create a YouTube channel, create devlogs, because the people who watch your devlogs, they will give you feedback to improve your game and they will be the people who will download your game when you publish it. So these are the main components that you need to think about before you even start publishing the game or otherwise you will get results like I did. You will get 2K downloads and your game will be taken down from Google Play. I mean, thank you, Google, but just kidding. I, anyways, <laughs> as I said, I left that game like a long time ago. That's when I turned to teaching. Of course, I created a few more games that I published online. We'll talk about those in another video, but the lessons that I learned is that I will not be a millionaire for my first game because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a team and all of the good stuff. So think about that early on while you're creating the game and that's how you will get to the point where your game will get more downloads and hopefully you will get to be a millionaire and quit youtube like i did or will do or i don't know anyways this was it for this video i had a lot of fun making it hit that subscribe button like share comment do all the good stuff check out my game development academy and i will see you guys in the next video if you like this video, don't stop now. Keep learning. Click on these videos that are on my side that are specifically selected for you. So just click on one of these videos and continue watching.